Welcome back to Rustic Grows Farm. I'm Paul and today we're going to be making um, a cocky gate for this uh, space here. The good thing about cocky gates is that they can be any length um, and they're relatively easy to make. So I'll show you the way that I make ours. <laughs> I've already pre-cut some pipe. Um, and it's about 125 centimetres. So I mark about 10 centimetres up from the bottom. And then another mark at a metre because the wire we're using is um, 90 centimetres high and then I'm doing another one at about 115 because I run a plain wire on top of um, my ring lock that I use. Then I've got a third bit of pipe for the uh, handle um, that I use. I use it as like a lever. Um, so I'll mark that about um, 10 centimetres as well. Uh, where I've marked all these, I'm actually going to drill a 6 millimetre hole. Uh, that's for me to be able to put the wire through. And um, the wire won't actually move. Um, like it would if it wasn't actually going through the hole. They can move up and down the bits of pipe. bits of pipe already drilled. Um, the gateway we're actually doing is from this strainer post here across to this middle strainer because the sun's in the way I don't know how well you can see it but yeah just uh, that little gateway. Um, I've already got an off cut from fencing that I did yesterday so and it's just long enough to go in this gateway so I'll use this bit of wire that's just um, here um, to go across this space you may be able to see how the ring lock actually has different spacings um, so up here it's a lot uh, bigger and then it slowly goes down to small down the bottom so whenever you're doing fencing or gates you always put the bigger holes up the top and the smaller ones down the bottom um, so yeah I'll s start connecting that to my uh, posts oh sorry bits of pipe <laughs>
using a wire twirler to actually tie these on. Uh, if I had a longer strand, I'd be able to do it by hand, but I've left these pretty short, so um, yeah, just using a wire twir twirler to help me a little bit. It's just a basically a, a bit of flat bar with which is slightly bent with some couple of holes in it where the wire goes through to be able to twirl it around. grass build up around the, uh, is always um, bad this time of year so I always try and just pull them out so I can actually see what I'm doing this is the existing fence that I haven't replaced um, and because I'm not going to open this gate on this side, I can actually just tie this up to the post um, a different way. And on the other end, I'm going to have to make it so I can push the bottom into the wire and then my, use my lever to go through the top section um, to hold it in place. When tying onto a post like this, I like to double the wire over and then use the loop, use the little loop where it's doubled over, I'll put the screwdriver into and then twist it around. This way it actually twists around the wire and I can actually make it nice and tight because it actually brings this wire um, on the left in again, over the top of the one on the right um, and can make it really tight. And I don't like any sharp edges with wire so I will normally twist it around um, so at least uh, hopefully an animal or you know a human won't actually cut themselves on the edge of the wire. So that's this end all tied on. Um, and that I'll do the same wire last 
the one that goes across the top. Um, now it's time to work out the length of the wire I need, um, cut it and then put the other bit of pipe on. I'm just having a look at where I want the pipe to actually go up against the strainer and then adjusting um, the length of this wire. because the tails on this wire is much longer it's a lot easier to bend with my hand uh, and I don't actually need to use the wire twirler on these gates I actually bend the tail so it's nice and close to the other wire um, instead of trying to put any, um, instead of curling it in like I did with the one on the other end, uh, just push these inwards. And you can see because these are going through the holes, you can't actually move the wire up and down. This one you can because it's not in the hole, but the main one top and bottom won't actually move. So when I actually go to put it in its wire and push it upwards, I don't have to be so concerned with this coming off the actual pipe. Now, the bottom of the post is going to come to about here, so I want the wire um, to be tied so I can just put the bottom of the post into it and I actually tie the wire as a figure eight. I've got my figure eight tied, my bottom of the wire is about where I need it to be, so now we'll just check the post to make sure it's going to go in and start working on the top wire. I 
I do the top wire similar to how I did the other end. Um, I actually double it over. But I'll put it through the hole in this bit of pipe, which is the lever. I actually cut the wire a little bit too short, so I had to get another piece. Um, but I can use that bit of wire elsewhere um, on another gate or um, cut it for t up for tyres for my next fence that I do. may notice that the actual bottom of my uh, gate is fairly loose. Um, I'll just have a look. Okay, I've got a couple of ways I can tighten up the bottom of the gate. I can try and actually pull this bit of wire through further or I can adjust the bottom post. Um, all my other wires seem to be really tight on this one so I'm actually looking at tightening up the bottom wire on this one here uh, this um, bit of wire is actually in the way I'll cut that out shortly but I can undo this one here and actually pull it through so it's a lot tighter. Should be fairly easy for Ellie to open. Um, so I'll just put the top wire on it now. Um, I've still got to get a couple of bits of poly pipe, which I use as guides to actually go down the actual fence. So probably two bits, um, which also makes it a lot easier 
being black poly for it to see if the gate's closed um, or open. This can be really hard to see a closed gate if you've just got it as plain wire. The plain wire is nothing special. I'm just using um, medium tensile plain wire. Uh, I've already tied it onto the post on the other end. Now I'll just yeah, thread it through the hole so it can't move up and down the post. I've just wrapped it around the post a second time on this end, the other end I just put it through the hole. And um, pitched it. Right. So that gate's easy enough to open and close. So I just have to get some poly now, cut it to length, um, I cut that at about 120 um, to actually connect it, I don't need it at 125 because I only go 5 centimetres up from the bottom, um, so 120 will work uh, to hold um, that in place. So I've just cut my poly pipe to length um, because it's still quite um, rounded. I'll have to try and straighten it out a bit. But yeah, it basically just goes on here um, so I can actually see when the gates open and closed and we just tie it on with plain wire. Um, I just try and drill a hole um, down the bottom and then I can see roughly where it's going to be for the top wire. And the very top wire as well. Uh, my tyres are just the offcuts from my plain wire that uh, was too short. So I've just used that, um, cut them shorter, it's actually used to twitch these on. what's on I actually just um, work out the height where, where I'm going to actually drill for my um, middle wire to hold it in place
so that is my cocky gate finished um, it's nice and easy to open and close so I I hope you like this video thank you for watching um, please like and subscribe to our channel uh, and until next time have a wonderful day